All right, what's up, everyone? Uh, this is your boy Gerard, uh, the photographer. Uh, well, I'm a lot of things, but y'all know me as a photographer. And um, today I am going to be doing a retouch video. Um, I get a lot of messages from people um, asking me how I retouch the steps that I do to retouch my photos. And so today I'm just going to show um, my steps that I take to do that. Um, I've done a couple retouch videos before, kind of like sped up versions just showing the process but not actually step by step so today i'm gonna walk you through the steps that i take um to retouch my photos and hopefully you learn something new um, or just find out a little bit more about my process you know so um what we have here is a client of mine um i shot him a couple days ago my homeboy jameer um and so this is just a basic headshot nothing to it, it's, I literally just open the file up. It's just a regular file. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna walk you through the process. So, um, what I have done is basically I've made actions, which is basically um, I've done the steps to do it before, and I've done all these things, and I recorded myself doing it by pressing this button. And so, basically, what it does is um, now I don't have to redo all those steps again, I can just go down here. And press the play button and um, it does it for me so it's asking me uh, what's the blur that I want to do to that basically um, this is just saying how smooth I want the skin to be um, the note that I usually tell photographers is you kind of want to you want to see his face obviously but you, you want to get rid of the detail so you don't want to see like any of the pores or anything like that you don't want it too smooth I don't like my photos when I retouch them to look like like the person is plastic or he's like a doll or anything like that um i like him to still look realistic but I, like i said i want to clean up the pores and um any blemishes they may have um facial stuff you know so do that and uh yeah that's it so um that's quick and easy basically what that did is like i said it does all the steps that i did before um there's different like gradients and stuff like that and it's made different groups and different layers and so um, it formed a group, the skin retouch group, and in there is the high frequency and the low frequency, LF for low frequency, HF for high frequency, obviously. And basically what that does is an image is only really two things, it's colors and textures. Um, and so what you do with this is splitting those two into their separate categories. Um, high frequency is the textures. So you see how when I turned the high frequency off just now, um, it got really smooth and there's nothing like it's just a, a flat surface. Um, can't really do anything with that and then with low frequency you turn that off and you can see how um, you can see the textures and stuff like that and um, like I said the image is nothing but those two combined so um, if you turn this off it will look the same as the original photo because it really just took the photo and split those two into their, their separate categories so it's the same thing honestly um, but yeah so uh, does that for me and so as far as retouching goes what you want to do, um, or what I typically do, is um, you just go through um, and you just fix the blemishes and stuff that you see. Um, so with the high frequency uh, selected, you go to your clone stamp tool, which is right here. You can also press the S button. And um, any blemishes, let me zoom in a little bit. I want to do as much as possible. Um, any blemishes that you see, anything like that, you just want to uh, sample a, a clean area. Uh, on the MacBook, you click uh, the Alt button. I'm not sure what it is on the PC. I haven't had PC in years. Um, yeah. And so, um, just want to go over any uh, spots that he may have, any freckles or anything like that, any skin blemishes, uh, pimples, bumps, or anything like that. Um, those type of things. He doesn't have any of those things. Um, so, I'm just really just doing this right now just to show y'all what it looks like to be retouched and just what we're capable of doing so I'm just gonna go through and um, this is honestly just a, a quick video I get a lot of questions asking me what I do so I'm not really about to go all out on this I just want to show y'all the steps that I do and just so you can see the before and after and just what you're capable of doing with the retouch you know so um, just going through any of these little dots anything that I want the color to change on just going through that and honestly this is the real boring stuff 
Um, this is the stuff that the photographer, when people book in their photographer, and um, you think they're just taking your photo. This is the stuff that we have to do behind the scenes. Well, this is stuff that I do behind the scenes. I'm not sure what every photographer does. Um, some photographers go through and just do color correction. There's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, I just started to get into the retouching stuff um, as of recently. Um, I find myself drifting more towards the fashion and portrait side. So um, it's not kind of like a skill that I have to know and use. But um, not all photographers do retouching. Um, it's not like a, you're not a photographer if you don't know the retouch type of thing. You feel me? It's, it's just kind of like additional skill to have and just useful, you know? So um, you don't have to watch me do this. I'm probably just going to speed up. Um, the video at this point and um, just so you have to watch it but you'll see the process and basically see what it looks like and so um, yeah I'll be back All right. and we're back so, uh, yeah, I just basically just went through, um, like I said, he didn't really have too many, uh, like skin blemishes or anything like that. So it really wasn't much for me to do, but just so you can see what I've changed and stuff, you can kind of help me zoom in a little bit more. Kind of see, this is what the blemish is gone. This is what he had before. Just small things. Like I said, nothing major on, off on off and yeah um just for this this video it's just good enough for now it's just this like i said quick here i'm gonna get rid of this because okay just um just a sample video it's not like i'm really editing this photo right now um but yeah so that's that and so um next you want to go to the uh second section the lower frequency section and with that, um, you want to go to grab the lasso tool, which is right here, aka the L button. You can hit the L button or the lasso tool. And uh, what you want to do with that is you just want to go over similar areas um, as far as color and uh, stuff like that. You just want to go over similar areas and just wrap it. And like I said, this is just for purposes of the video. Um, I'm just really just just messing around right now um, just like the similar color and uh, you want to go to filter blur and hit Gaussian blur the G1 um, I went ahead and short set a shortcut for that um, you can go through that um, it's, it's just really quicker that way it's, it's a lot to go through filter and then go down the blur and then do that um, I just kind of set it so when I hit uh, function F9 it um, I gotta go through it function F9 it automatically does the pop-up for me so I can just do that and so with this you're basically going to want to play with the Gaussian like I said this is what you was doing before when you first hit the action button and it had you range but this is basically determine how smooth that area is and how well it's going to be blended and stuff like that so um, I just play around with these numbers um, there's no really perfect number for you just play around and just whatever you feels right and like I said with me I don't like um, the client that look plastic, like their, their their skin's not real, so I don't go too far up. Um, it's really just give or take. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna do this real quick, just do some quick um, lasso until shortcut F9. Um, for me, um, do what you please. Um, it's really mm -hmm. easy to show a shortcut. If you don't know how to, I'll, I'll, I'll include a link or I might even make a quick video just showing you how you set a shortcut. It's really simple. Um, I just don't want to separate what I'm doing right now just to do that. Um, but yeah, just go through this. And um, I'll probably speed this section up again just like I did the other one just so you can kind of not be bored while I do this. So uh, be right back. And we are back. So yes, this is um, what he uh, looks like now. And like I said, just show you before and after. This is the after. And this 
is the before. You kind of see looks a little bit smoother, a little bit less um, discoloration in his skin. Um, yeah, clean that up for you, just so you see. Um, before again, this is what he had before. I guess I see these bumps. See, it's kind of like bumpy and textures all over the place. It's a little bit smoother skin. And actually, now that I think about it, this is honestly, honestly, this is probably the second maybe dude that I've actually retouched. I don't think I retouch dudes that often. Um, so this is kind of like different. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is what he looks like after the retouching. So um, yeah, you can kind of just see why some people would want to retouch. This is something that they do mainly in the beauty and the fashion industry um, in headshots as well. You don't really see too many full body portraits get retouched just because you don't really even see that much detail. Um, nine times out of ten when you're doing like a fashion shoot for real for real the models are wearing makeup anyway so um, sometimes they, they go over sometimes they don't but for the most part um, not really you know so just depend how you feel but yeah so that's the first step the retouching the skin retouching that I do and then so after that um, go back and I do um, next up would be the teeth so I'm gonna Close that box, open this one, um, run the teeth action, and this one is even more simple to do. Uh, literally, all you do is just press the play button, and uh, it does everything you need to do. And basically, what you want to do is just paint over the teeth with a white brush. Um, really simple to do. Um, just go to the brush tool, aka the B button, bottom right here. Make sure it's set to white right there. And then, um, yeah, just go over the teeth. Um, let me zoom in a little bit just so you can see what it looks like before and after as we do it. And, um, and this is just um, changing those tones. I set it so it kind of just grabs the yellow pixels. If it sees any yellow pixels or any hints of yellow, it goes over it and um, just gets rid of that, you know. So I'll just make this a bigger brush just so it's not taking so long. I lost my So I use a uh, tablet to retouch a Wacom tablet um, really not that expensive it just um, helps me with the retouch it's kind of like a pen um, stylus whatever and just I just feel like the official photographer when I use it so but I actually lost my pen so I'm using a mouse right now so it's taking me a little bit longer I've been using a stylus for so long that I kind of forgot what my mouse feels like so it's taking me a little bit longer to drag everything and so but cool most people don't have a stylus anyway so this is going to be normal for you. I do suggest that you do get one if you are going to be doing serious retouching. Um, it just makes the process a lot easier. This is just really cool. And so, uh, yeah, brighten the teeth up. And so this is the teeth before. This is the teeth after. So you can see the, the difference and it's brightened up. It's not like no, just a, you could, uh, let me turn this off real quick. You could, most people would probably think, oh, let me just get a white brush and just paint white over it and I'll go over the lower the capacity and it doesn't it doesn't really work out like that it doesn't really brighten it up how you think it would um, so I just really set this action up um, so it's easy to do and it got some things in there um, as far as layers and stuff to really brighten the teeth up the way you want it to be brightened up so um, yeah teeth is quick and easy and uh, after that go to the eyes and uh, the eyes are Gonna be quick and easy as well same thing you just go through I like closing the things when I'm done just so it's not a whole bunch of folders open and you run the actions third time to charm it says adjust the radius to sharpen the eye so depending on how how sharp you want the eyes to look how white you want to look is how how, uh, how you sharpen this I think this white um, right here would be fine um, like that Hit okay and zoom in and the same thing as the teeth you just go over the areas the white areas um, I try not to color, touch the color part I just like that to be the same but hit those white areas up by your nose bum, bum. same thing on this side bum, bum. Just brighten those bad boys up and voila his eyes are brightened this is before Without the adjustment, this is with, uh, with adjustment, before, without, before, without. All right, damn, I had it backwards. 
This is with. I said without. <laughs> I meant with. I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I said like five times too, and I didn't catch myself till last time. This is with the adjustments. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I'm super tired as I'm doing this, so you know what I meant. So yeah, so quick retouch, just like I said, just the basics, just showing you what I do. Um here I group them all together. Um command button, select all of them, and then hit command G to make a group. Um and this is with what I did. This is the original photo, and this is with the retouch. So, original, retouched. And, uh, yeah, just, like I said, cleans it up, makes it a little bit more cleaner and um, more professional. And so, uh, yeah, hopefully this helps you. Um, uh, hopefully you learn something new. You can get those actions that I used, the retouching ones, the skin one, the eye one and the um, teeth one, you can get all those from my website, createdbygerard.com slash shop. Uh, those are all up there right now. So you can download yours and uh, use those to start retouching and practicing your retouching. Um, yeah, feel free to email me, hit me up if you have any questions or comments or anything like that. And uh, hopefully, like I said, this helps you. And uh, yeah, take care. Appreciate y'all watching. Peace.